prolonged heat waves, record high temperatures and extreme dry conditions, suddenly interrupted by heavy rains and flash floods. Parts of the United States have been walloped by climate-related catastrophes. We've neglected our, 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 our conversations and our planning for floods a little bit because we've been so focused on the water scarcity side of the hydrologic coin. So one thing I think that we really should be thinking about moving forward is co-managing the risks of drought and flood, because they are both, in fact, increasing in a warming climate. Without the appropriate infrastructure, these floods aren't providing any relief for the mega drought this region has endured for more than two decades. California's governor recently announced a long-term strategy to expand water storage capacity above and below the ground to bolster state's water supply. We're here to highlight uh, with renewed sense of urgency uh, truly the moment we're in. In the last few years, Ray referenced this, uh, the hydrology in the state has begun to change pretty significantly. The aridification that we're experiencing leads us now, the science and the data leads us to now understand that we will lose 10 percent of our water supply by 2040. California is also pushing for desalination projects as well as recycling nearly a billion cubic meters of wastewater per year by 2030 at a time when the water conservation efforts have not been enough. I don't think we're doing enough. Um, I think we're still wedded to our lawns and our medians and our golf courses that are thirsty and uh, we water them. However, I do think Californians can come together and prove it, have proven over the recent past that they can come together and use less water. But seven states in the southwest were not able to reach agreements to reduce water use from the Colorado River. The federal government stepped in to issue cuts that will affect Arizona, Nevada and Mexico across the border. But more cuts could be needed down the line. It is Tianshan CGTN, Los Angeles.